Hi everyone, I'm Julie, also known as Sweet Jewels. Uh, today I'm making a special addition to Coral's Cookie Swap. I'm doing sugar shortbread cookies two ways. The first is a jam filled sandwich cookie and the second is a fancy fondant holiday cookie. So now that these cookies have chilled, they're ready to go in the oven and to be baked for 10 to 12 minutes until they are pale golden. Before you roll out your fondant, you want to prep your work surface with a little bit of cornstarch. You don't want to use too much cornstarch because then it'll start to make your fondant look a little chalky. I like to use a paintbrush, just a regular old paintbrush, just to lightly dust my surface. You don't want to roll the fondant too thick. About a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch is just enough. We're going to use the same cookie cutters that we use to cut out our cookies to cut out our shapes. We'll start by putting a thin layer of white chocolate on our cooled cookie. Then we'll put our cutout fondant shape on top and gently smooth it out just with your finger. A little bit of pressure, not too much that you're leaving imprints. Add a little bit of water to make the coarse sugar adhere. Possibilities are endless and really you're just using your imagination. When adhering fondant to fondant, you always want to use just a little bit of water. Water starts to slowly dissolve the sugar and it works as an adhesive itself, so you really only need a teeny tiny little bit. If you are using a fondant impression mat, you are going to want to roll the fondant out just a little bit thicker than you would if you were just rolling it out to cut out the shapes. Once you have the impression marked on your fondant, it's really easy to just cut it out with the cookie cutter. I use just a little bit of shimmer and edible glitter just to kind of highlight the dimensions that the impression mat leaves. A lot of these can be found at your local bulk store or any specialty cake shops. Thank you. 
Don't be afraid to get fancy with your shortbread cookies this year. Use a little bit of fondant and a little bit of imagination and impress all of your friends and family this holiday season. We want you to take part in our virtual cookie swap too. Share your recipes with us on Facebook or better yet, post a video and we'll add it to our playlist. Want to see more of this baking? Let us know in the comment section below.